Alright, hello and welcome to another video about Arma series. This time we'll have a look at the mission presentation in Arma 3. I know I haven't explained the basic controls and editor functions yet, but we'll get to that in the future. Now I want to show you some cosmetic details that will help you get a nice looking mission. With a bit of work it can look professional and then the only thing remaining will be the mission itself. Now as you have already noticed, Arma 3 has a different loading screen, instead of a random image in Arma 2, there is now an image of the island and a little picture with basic information about the author and the mission. In this video I will show you how to change the overview which is this part over here and the loading screen to something more personal that will make your mission stand out. First of all, make a mission, anything you want that you think will be entertaining for others. Make something worth the player's time. In the future videos I will surely show you some tips or commands that you can use. Now once the mission is done, open your description.ext file in the folder with your missions. Now those of you who know how to do that, skip forward. If you don't have that file or don't even know where your mission folder is, listen closely. Your mission folder is located in Documents, Arma 3, Missions, Mission Name, that name of the island. There are all files needed for your mission. You have mission.sqm with everything that you have created in the editor and other files you have created such as pictures, music, scripts and others. Now if you don't have description ext there, you need to create it. So simply right click and choose new txt file. Now rename it to description.ext. Make sure you have changed the extension of the file. Windows system should ask you if you really want to change the name. Now open the file in notepad. One important thing here is that everything we will do will be in this file. Without description ext you cannot make anything in this video. Now the first section will be overview, a text and a picture that will show in the mission selection. There are three lines that you need to add to your file. Overview text, here you can choose the text that will be shown. Overview text locked, you may consider locking a mission and force the player to play some of your other missions first. This can be done by keys and I'll explain them some other time. But for now I just want to say that if you want to lock the mission, you can also choose the overview text that will be shown along with a transparent image until the player unlocks the mission. Overview picture, now here you specify the picture shown in the mission selection. The game will search your mission folder for the picture, so make sure to add it to your folder. Also, remember to resize the picture to power of 2, ideal resolution is 1024 times 512. But you may also use other resolutions as well, just try to keep the aspect ratio 2 to 1. Two supported formats are JPEG and PAA. Now if you want a PAA image, you will most probably need text view. First of all, save the image in PNG format, then download and install text view. I added a link in the description of the video. Now open the picture in text view and then save it as PAA format. The important fact is that PAA images support alpha channel, which means transparency and they are lossless. Let's move to the loading screen. You can't change the picture of the island, but you can change the little image here along with the text shown around it. All you need are these lines in your description. Onload name. The name is the big text above the picture that should tell the name of the mission. Onload mission. A short description of the mission try to use as few words as possible. First, the player won't have much time to read the description. Second, you want to keep the overview nice and stylish, so try to describe the mission in one or two sentences. And load screen. Yet again, you can choose the image. And again, the game will look for the picture in your mission folder. The ideal resolution is 1024 times 512 and the format is JPEG and PAA. 
TextView 2 needed to convert images from PNG to PAA, link to download it is included below the video. The last line you need to add to have a perfect overview and loading screen is about authorship. You want to add your name to your work, don't you? Well, just add this line into your description.ext file. Author and just add your name and that's it. Once you added everything into the description text, you can save the file. Make sure you haven't forgotten anything, images, some text, make sure you haven't deleted anything like question marks or something and return back to the mission editor and save the mission. By saving it, the game runs through description ext and if there's anything wrong, you will get a notification of or the game will crash with an error message. If there's anything right, you can save the mission as single player mission and have a look at it in your mission selection. Now your overview and loading screen works perfectly. If you are making a multiplayer type of mission, you can add the following. Class header and game type. I have listed all possible game types in the description of the video, so choose the best one for your mission. It allows players to filter the right type of mission they want to play. Min players, the minimal number of players for the mission and max players, the maximum number of players for the mission. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more ARMA related videos, have a nice day and I'll see you all next time.